For the next series of video tutorials, I've chosen to simulate a very popular card game called Blackjack, but a very basic version of Blackjack with very few rules compared to the standard form. Uh, before we do build this, it's worth me issuing a disclaimer that we're looking at this purely from the basis of computer science and how we can learn about the logic of coding by analysing quite a, an interesting little game. I don't in any way condone or promote gambling, which often can be associated with blackjack. We're purely looking at this from the basis of analysing computer thinking and computational thinking to create something that involves lots of rules and looping and lists. And that's purely why we're looking at that. Um, and obviously you can play things like blackjack and poker without betting and they are quite fun games to play. So just before we begin, obviously I want to get that out there that it's nothing to do with gambling here. Okay, so Blackjack is a very straightforward game. Um, there are two or more players usually playing. Each has dealt a hand of two cards, and they add the total of their cards together to get a score. The aim of the game is for each player to have a round, and during that round, they can twist, which means take more cards, until their score is as close to or on 21 as possible. If they go above 21, they're bust, therefore they lose the game. Whoever has the highest uh, hand of cards at the end of each of their rounds without going over 21 is the winner. So let's begin. So what I do here is I click type yes. Uh, player one hand is currently 10 and a three. So a 10 of diamonds and a three of clubs. So would I like to twist? Um, I would, yeah, I'd like to get possibly a higher card. Obviously, if I go eight, if I go for above an eight, so if I pull a 10 now um, or a nine, I actually am bust, I'm out of the game. So that's a risk worth taking, twist. What do you know? I've, I've pulled a 10, a queen of clubs, which is a 10, and I'm bust, so I'm above 21, and player 2 automatically wins, even though they only had 9 cards. So let's run this again. So this time, player 1's hand is 4 of diamonds and a 5 of hearts, which is 9, and then a 7 of spades and a 9 of hearts, which gives you 16 total. So let's play again. So player one has to obviously up their hand a little bit more. Player two needs to make a decision on whether it's worth taking the risk. So player one hand is currently that. So let's twist. Okay, so we've now got 16 as well. Now the risk involved is do I twist and pull a slightly higher card so I'm near to 21 or do I pull a two higher card and I go bust. Right, I'm gonna stick. So I'm left with 16 points. Now player 2 has 16 points. Let's twist and take the risk. Wow. So player 2 has actually got, if you look at it, 21. We're going to stick. So player 2 has won. Run again. And that's what happens. I tell you what, I'll let you play around with this. I should have provided a link on the worksheet where you found this video.